This video is the third video of the series related to switching to Linux. In this one, I'm going to show you a great landscape of all the Linux distro, not all of them, but most of them, in my opinion, the most important one. And then I'm going to share with you my thought about the perfect distribution for beginners. Let's get into it. When it comes to Linux, there is really like three types of distro from my perspective. The first one is a beginner friendly distro. The second one is an advanced user distro. And the last one is an expert user distro. What you have to understand is that if you don't want to get totally frustrated and disappointed by Linux, you need to start with a beginner one. I really advise you to start with a beginner one, no matter what. I know some of you believe that they have knowledge, they know what they are doing, but most of the time they don't. Before you learn how to run, you need to learn how to crawl, then you need to learn how to walk, and then you need to learn how to run. Those are three different steps, which are like super, super important in my opinion. So to give you an idea of what a Linux distribution is, I'm going to make an analogy. Okay, the analogy will be super simple. Follow me. <laughs> follow me on this one. Because you need to really follow me on this one. Let's say you buy a Lego and you are a total beginner and you don't even know how to put one Lego on top of each other. There is some Lego packages we will come already pre-built. You just buy it and you have your Lego all done. You can just play with it. Those will be the distro for beginner, like the basic one. You will take advantage of the, your Lego toy. Lego toy, I don't, I don't even know how to say that. But you're going to take advantage of your toy and you have no hassle. It's just like kind of like plug and play. You get the Lego, you play with it. The problem with this approach is like if you break it, you're going to be in trouble because you have no idea how to rebuild it. Okay, and that's why you are a beginner. And this is really the part of the work you're going to have to go through as a Linux user. You have your Lego, you play with it. If you follow the instruction and everything, there is no reason for it to break. But let's say you break it, this is where you're going to struggle because you don't know you don't know the plan that helped build the Lego. And this is what makes you a beginner. And it's okay. The idea is that most of the distribution, they will come with a manual. And with this manual, you're going to have to read it to learn how to rebuild the Lego or to rebuild the distribution. Simple as that. And the manuals are available on the internet through the forum of the distribution you're going to install. Now, let's say you're an advanced user. Well, the advanced user, he already went from the beginner phase. The Lego packaging will be a little bit more complex to use and to take advantage of. I would say the manual is also like a, a little bit more complex to read and to go through. So you still have a distribution which is like kind of like serves you on a plate but now the level of complexity of the manual and the lego itself is a little bit higher so this is the next step if you believe and i, I want to i'm going to be really heavy on this one if you believe you are an advanced user make sure you really are like don't think you are an advanced user when you are not now the last one the expert one the Lego doesn't even come constructed at all. There is nothing. It's just a piece. The manual is here, but it's really complex. Like it's like a 5,000 pages type of manual. And they are like, yep, you can build your own Lego now. Good luck. And you're going to be like, but why would you do that? Well, the advantage of the expert approach of Linux is like when you went from the two previous one, you can build exactly what you want to build. You design the car as you want it to be because you know exactly how every piece of the lego actually works but also you know all the plan you know how to use this huge documentation you can go through it and also because you learn of your past mistake you know you're gonna have to learn that's why like from my perspective i'm not even an expert user and i've been using linux for more than 20 years on the server side and I would say like on the desktop, I really switched totally like two years ago. And I don't consider myself an expert user. I'm more like an advanced. I'm still learning. I may be like a, a beginner, like expert beginner, but I like deep down, I know I still have to learn a lot. And that's a wonderful approach of it. 
you still learn. This is the experience and the path is just wonderful. Anyway, that was a, a little like explanation of where in a Linux world you stand, I stand, and it's important to understand that. Now, back to the distribution. You certainly heard about Debian. And Debian, to me, is an expert level type of distribution because even if it looks super easy of access and everything, you still need to learn how to use it. And most of the over distribution are based on Debian. It is a really old school distro, and I think you need to be at least an advanced user to, to, to take advantage of it. Now, the one that everybody learned about, it's Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is based on Debian. And Ubuntu gives you a, a, a really most, I would say, like user-friendly type of approach. But if you are coming from Windows, I do believe Ubuntu is not the best project or distribution for you. You can try it, but I would not recommend it. And that's why in this specific tutorial, we are not going for Ubuntu. The other one I'm really thinking right now is Fedora. And Fedora, again, is, is a really good one, but you need to, to be an advanced user, in my opinion, to take advantage of it. And when I'm taking advantage of it, it's like this, Fedora is going to be great, right? You could, you could start on that, but you're going to be limited because you don't know all the software that you could run on it, and you don't know all the desktop environments you're going to have to use. Like, I think it's the main Fedora is based on GNOME, which is more looking like Mac than Windows. So you're going to be in this new world. I think it's, I think it's going to be shaking you up too much. You could try, but again, I, I would not recommend it. Now we go to the real, real advanced distribution. And I'm, I'm choosing Gentoo here because I want to talk about it. This is, in my opinion, the end, 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 end game of Linux distribution when it comes to complexity. As they describe themselves, it's a highly flexible source-based Linux distribution, which means you're gonna have to compile everything you want to install on this distribution. It's not a, a distribution for beginners, it's not a distribution for advanced users, and it's a hard distribution for the expert. So my takeaway here is you want to switch, put all the different tools on your hand and know what you're installing. Don't install Gentoo for your first distribution. This is simply like a, a Linux suicide at this point. In my opinion, like my favorite one for the desktop environment, it's Arch. So this one is, I would say like high, high advanced user and expert user only. Arch, if you just look at the website, you know, it's really terminal centric. So you need to understand what you are doing from a, a terminal and command line standpoint. You, you have to put your hand into the weed for this one. But the idea is that because you have to put your hand into the weed for this one and the documentation is so, 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 so good that if you master this one, you're going to be able to master all the other one pretty easily. So from my standpoint, I wouldn't start with that. It's just too hard. So you're going to tell me at this point, so what are, we, what are we going there? I'm telling you, the one you should go through is Linux Mint for two main reasons, two big main reasons. They are the developer of what's called a desktop environment, which is what your operating system would look like. And it's called Cinnamon. And Cinnamon is a desktop environment which looks the most like Windows. By moving from Windows to Linux, it will feel like a breeze because on your experience side, it will be almost the same. You, you, you won't see the difference. All your good old reflex from Windows, they're going to be transferred to Linux like really in a seamless approach. The second point, which I think makes Linux Mint really different from the other, is the fact that all the software and the operating system are super accessible. It's really easy to install and really easy to search for new software you want to install. They have what they called a software manager, which is, in my opinion, one of the best out there. And the way you install application on Linux Mint is so easy. It's just a breathe of air. And for the third point, if you are a gamer, because most of the time we're going to be gaming or even a content creator, the desktop environment performance is awesome. It's, it's really, really good. So you have those three facts 
about Linux Mint, which make it the best distribution for the beginner, as I record this video. This distribution is just a beast. You're gonna love it. Now you know what is my choice, Linux Mint, obviously. What we're gonna do in the next video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to install this distribution in the easiest way possible. Again, if you like, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and uh, see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.